What's the chow chin chow? It's Joe's PH Games here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Sacred Gold Egglock. In the last episode, we received our 7th gym badge from Blaine. The 7th gym badge of the Kanto region, that is, from Blaine. And now we're heading on towards Cinnabar Islands and it's possibly Pallet Town today. But of course, this is a Nuzlocke, so I'm going to be trying to get an encounter on this route as well. So, uh, we need to get some encounters because we need to hatch out some eggs because that's what it, this egg lock is about. More eggs, more happy people because they get to see their eggs hatched out. So, I'm going to switch into Dexy here because the fact is Dexy has Hypnosis and hopefully Dexy will hit with Hypnosis and we'll be able to do, do a couple maybe Dragon Pulses and get Pokemon to catching range so we can catch them. So, let's have a look at the team rather quickly, and uh, let's also talk about question of the day in a minute. So, we have Dexty at level... So, we have Dex at level 73, and it has to move Surf, Hypnosis, Dragon Pulse, and Light Screen. I need to go get Ice Beam off screen. I might actually do that in, like, a bonus episode. Before we go and face the Elite Four, I'm going to go try and get uh, Ice Beam on this Pokemon... Uh, on Dexty here without running into Articuno, hopefully. Unless you guys want to see Articuno, because if you do, my team's going to get destroyed. <laughs> anyway, we have Excoon here, level 71. Holding the soft sand to boost those ground type moves. It knows moves Outrage, Strength, which it learned in the last episode because we needed it to get through the Sea Power Islands and to face Blaine, Earthquake, and Crunch. We have Rob, level 71, with Discharge, Blizzard, Ominous Wind, up and Uproar. We have Mark, level 70, with Power Whip, Body Slam, Curse and Hammer Arm, and hopefully today I'll get to use him. We have Puma Breath, who did so well for us in the last gym. Uh, with the move, He's level 70, and he has... Uh, she, actually, it's a she, actually. Certainly, she's level 70, and she has the moves Flare Blitz, Flame Throw, Double Kick, and crunch if i ever find a heart scale i'm definitely going to be giving you close combat but like i haven't found the heart scale yet and beck is level 70 and those moves calm mind psychic willow wisp and magical leaf so that is our team rather quickly I and mean, we're doing rather well at this moment in time so hopefully we'll get an encounter so our encounter for routes uh, for this route is a Tentacle, level 17. Okay, I don't need to actually do any damage to this. I just need to hit the hypnosis. Go to sleep, please. I just burped because I had a drink just about five seconds ago because this is the second episode of my recording and my throat gets rather dry after doing recordings. And I do like to record in sessions. So let's go for the Pokeball here. I used to like to record like three episodes in a row. That's really what I like to do because that's like weak. That's a week for me because that's like three up so oh, three uploads. Yeah, it's like three, two or three uploads. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, so we caught this tentacle here. We're going to be hatching that out for an egg later on, probably at the end of the episode. But it's only level seventeen, which kind of annoys me. What else could I have run into here? A tentacle level twenty. Well, if I had repels on, I wouldn't have got anything for this route. Okay, like, I know there's tentacles here. What else do I... Like, I know, I... Oh, wait, this tentacle is actually quite high leveled. That's what I wanted. Look at this tentacle. This tentacle is level 40. That's a good tentacle. Okay, so... Is this a new route? Yeah, this is Route 20, so that's a new route to me. And um, we can get an encounter in here too. This is the Seafoam Islands, which we did get an encounter in the last episode because I had repels on. So let's get an encounter here. Okay, so our encounter for the Seafoam Islands is a Slowbro. Level 58. Not bad. I want to put you to sleep. Thank you for going to sleep, Slowbro. Right. Now. I'm going to hopefully be able to, uh, to uh, throw a Pokeball. Yeah, let's try a Pokeball. Uh, if I might not be able to catch you at this point in time, I might use a, use a Dragon Pulse. Yeah, I'm probably going to use a Dragon Pulse. Yeah, I'm going to use a Dragon Pulse. 
Okay, so Slowbro, please don't die from this. It would be really annoying if you ended up dying for this, but this is not Stab. Yeah, I know it's powerful, but it's not Stab. And you're level 58. You should be able to tank at least one. Okay, you tanked it. Not bad. And can I Surf to get any extra damage off? I know you... This won't do a lot of damage to you either, but it should put you in the red. Okay, right. Now I should be catching you. Before I do, I'm going to put up a light screen because I'm a little worried you're going to start attack. You're going to wake up and start attacking me soon. So, me putting up a light screen is a really good idea here, because you could do some serious damage to me. Because you know you're a slow bro. Slow bro has very powerful water, very powerful moves and can live. The one of the things I really didn't realize that slow bro could learn is flamethrower. I've looked at its moveset and it actually can learn flamethrower by TM. It's really cool that it can actually learn that. It learns a lot of good moves to slow bro. Can you just go back to sleep now, please? Okay, so Slowbro is back asleep. And I'm going to throw a Pokeball. And whilst I'm doing that, I'm going to ask you guys question of the day. So, question of the day for today's episode, and uh, this is actually a really interesting question of the day. If you guys could design any gym floor puzzle for your own gyms, what would they be? Let me know in the comment section down below what kind of gym floor puzzle you'd want to design. Whether you actually like gym floor puzzles, because I love the idea of gym floor puzzles. I mean, I don't like the idea of like certain gym floor puzzles, aka Lieutenant Surge's uh, gym floor puzzle, but there's some really interesting there are some really interesting gym floor puzzles as well that I actually really like. So uh, for me, it'd have to be uh, designed. I'd be doing a water type gym. That would be designed around uh, things like tidal waves and rapids and stuff like that. That's what I'd be designing and the, uh, making you have to use Surf inside the gym. I know Misty's gym here in Sacred Gold, Storm Silver that actually does do that already. But, uh, you know, I wanted that to be more, like, more revamped. So that would be really cool to do. I'd love that idea. Uh, let me know in the comments section what you think of my idea to have, like, rapids and uh, tidal waves and... Like, Waterfalls and stuff like that in gym in a water floor, in a water gym floor puzzle. That'd be so cool to do, I think, in my personal opinion. But I'd like to know what your opinions are on this matter. And of course, what would you design as well? Let me know in the comment section down below as I put a rappel on because of this, I'm really annoyed about all these tentacles I'm running into. And I think you know what? I'm going to switch it to Mark here. So let's go for this. There are a few trainers we'll have to fight on our way to the next uh, episode. On our way to the next place we're going to go to today, which is uh, Cinnabar Island. So, hopefully we will get there, but Barrel's going to be interesting. Okay, so B Barrel, level 65. That's powerful. Double Edge. It's even more powerful. Ow, that did a lot of damage. Hammer on. I know it's not Stab, but it's still power. And it's going to kill. Okay. That was kind of scary. That was really kind of scary. I was actually kind of worried I was going to lose Mark there. And I don't want to lose Mark. Mark's actually a really cool Pokemon. It's named after one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, which is the Lickitungian Pokemon Red and Blue. If you don't know where that nickname is coming from, there's, a Poke there's an in-game trade for... Uh, Lickitung in red and blue. I believe it's Slowpoke. If you trade Slowpoke for Lickitung, you get Mark. And then Lickitung is named Mark. And it's a really cool Lickitung. I use it like every time I go through red and blue, I use this Lickitung. So I'm really happy I get to use it again here in Secret Gold Storm Silver because somebody gave me a Lickitung. That's really cool. Okay, so I can just avoid trainers like that. That's cool. And we are here in Cinnabar Island. So, with this in mind, I'm going to go and find my uh, good uh, rod. Or my super... Oh, I have a super rod. Okay, I'm going to use that then. Okay, so we've got a fish for our encounter right here in Cinnabar Island. Okay, so our encounter for Cinnabar Island is a... Shelter level 48. That's actually rather powerful. Okay, so I'm going to switch into Dexy here. Now, obviously, I can't do too much damage to this because this is Shelder. 
And uh, shell does are quite dangerous if you do too much damage to them. So I'm going to try and use Surf and hopefully I won't kill it. I'm also going to try and put it to sleep. So, go to sleep first. And hopefully we should be able to uh, use a Pokeball here. Go Pokeball. Level 48 hatch. Level 48 hatch, please. Two. Three. Yes! Alright! Level 48 hatch. Ten minutes into the episode, we're doing rather well. This actually could be a really good catching spree episode. I actually do. I might actually do that, so. There we go. Living one is full now. Shelter strength transfer to living two. Okay. So we can now heal up right here in Cinnabar Islands. So that's really cool that we can heal up in the Cinnabar Islands. And I guess what we could do now is get that thing out and... Uh, yeah, let's do that, actually. Let's go and get that thing out of the box, and uh, let's go back to Fuchsia City, because we didn't get an encounter for uh, Route 19, because I have my rappel up. So let's go and get an encounter for Route 19. So where's that thing? So I'm going to find my Pokemon that I uh, caught first. So there's the tentacle I caught, so I'm going to put you in the hold box. There's the Slowbro I caught, so you're going in the hold box too, and... There's the shelter I caught, so that's three at this moment in time we have to hatch. So that's really cool, and now I'm going to go and get that thing out of the box, and I'm going to put Rodan Fridge in the box for the moment in time, and then we're going to go and get another Pokemon. So let's go do that right now. So that's what we're going to do, we're going to go and get another Pokemon. So how are you guys all doing? Let me know in the comment section down below for some. I'm really enjoying this. Let's play it some moments in time because we're doing rather well. We haven't had a death in a couple of episodes since we faced Sabrina. And our replacements I aborted in the last episode have done actually really rather well. So I'm really happy with their performances at this moment in time. And I have to use that box again. Because it seems to creep up on me. Because that's that box is right around my foot and it's really annoying me. Anyway, so this is Route 19. So we can get an encounter here. So let's do that, and I think since I have a rappel up, I'm just going to go for the uh, fishing rod here. Okay, so our encounter for Route 19 is a Seeking level 55. That's quite powerful. So I'm going to go into Dexy here, and Dexy's going to try and put this thing to sleep. And then we'll go for the uh, Dragon Pulses, because I'm pretty sure it could take one or two of them. I can take your Waterfall. It's, uh, it's really cool that you learn a HM move by level up. That's one of the great things about Seeking. It actually learns a HM move by level up, so you actually don't have to teach it by HM. And then I know that HM moves are really annoying anyway, but like it's so cool that it learns a HM move by level up. So this Seeking is fast asleep. And hopefully it's beefy enough to live a uh, Dragon Pulse. So let's see if you are. Are you beefy enough? Are you beefy enough to live one of these? You are beefy enough. Okay, that mean, that's cool. So that means I can just go for the Pokeball now. So you're quite low. You're quite low on HP. And hopefully I won't have to do a Surf as well. Because I'm pretty sure you won't live it. Okay, not bad. Level 55 hatch. Okay. Uh, nope, don't want to. Don't want to give you a nickname, and you've been transferred to Living One. Okay, so I'm gonna fly back to uh, Cinnabar Island now, and then I'm gonna go make a random cut because I need to go and get my notepad and pen because we're gonna be doing some hatching. Yay, hatching! And hopefully we'll make it to Pallet Town in today's episode. And we'll also talk to Blue as well. But first off, let's do some hatching. So I'm going to go and make a random cut in this video. And hopefully you guys don't mind that making this random cut. Because the fact is, I need to go and get my notepad and pen. Because I don't have them right in here next to me. I just don't have my room. random number generator. So I'm going to go and get ready for hatching. So I'll see you guys in a couple of seconds. Okie dokie guys, we are back. And we are ready to hatch out some Pokemon. So let's do that. 
So let's get some Pokemon ready first off. So I need to deposit our Fly Slave in the box. Well, I say Fly Slave. He's practically almost a member of the team as our Batfink right now. Uh, Batfink and Tycoon are practically almost members of the team. And if they ever... If they ever need to be in the team, I actually really would consider putting them in the team. But I don't know for sure. I don't know just yet whether they need to be put into the team yet or not. But anyway, we're going to start off with this tentacle since we call it first. And we're going to go to Living One. And we're going to go to Box 18 now. And we're going to. So I'm going to move that egg and then uh, put this egg here. And uh, we're going to generate an egg from numbers 1 to 6. So let me. Uh, do that. Numbers 1 to 6. Here we go. Our first number is 4. Number 4. Torchic. Great. We already know what this is. It's a level 17 one, so that's pretty cool. So, I think I'll just call this what I usually normally call a Torchic. So, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? We'll have to wait and see. What's it gonna be? It's a... It's a shiny Torchic. Okay, shiny Torchic's probably not going to stay shiny, so I'll end up having to uh, shinify it off-screen in, in PokerGen later on. But I normally call my Torchic's this name, which is really cool that we have a Torchic here, because I know a lot of people who like Torchic. So this is going to be Kickstart. Is it Arty? Yeah, it's Arty. Kickstart. I believe that's how you spell it. Anyway, let's uh, let's take a look at Kickstart. Kickstart has an adamant nature. It's six IV apparently. That's pretty cool because it's got all the markers on it. It's not Sage Shiny, sadly. So uh, I have to do that off screen. It's got speed boost for the ability. It's got Night Slash. Crush Claw, Low Kick, and Faint. Okay, not bad. I actually really like the idea of Kickstart, so that's pretty cool. Thank you to whoever sent me that in. At this late stage of the game, it's probably not going to be used because it's level 17, but uh, it's really cool to have a Torchic. You'll have to do a lot of grinding to get that up to uh, levels. So I'm going to put you here in level... I'm going to put you here because I need to re-Shinify you, so I will be remembering to Shinify you, so let me... Uh, Use my pen here, and if you hear clicking, it's because I've got a clicky pen. So, uh, we're going to put Quick Start in here. We're going to put him level 17, and yes, he is shiny. So, I need to remember that when I'm editing this episode later. He's supposed to be shiny. Okay, so we have a Slowbro level 58 here. That's power. That's almost ready to join a team. If uh, uh, This Pokemon's almost ready to join a team, so... Let's see what we got here for this Pokemon that's going to be almost ready to join the team, but I don't think it will be joining the team anytime soon. Anyway, so let's see what we got here. Number two. Bell. Okay. So here we go. Bell. Bell is a... Bell is a Feebas. Okay. Bell is a Feebas. So, we'll call you Bell. Bell. Okay, so that's a level 58 Feebas. So, that's pretty cool level 58 and it did not hatch shiny so I'm not going to be putting it as shiny but let's take a look at Bell. Okay Bell has a bold nature with the moves Hypnosis, Confuse Ray, Dragon Breath and Hey, Swift Swim for the ability. I know that is legal so I don't have to worry about legifying that and making that legal so that's pretty cool. It's already, it's already pretty legal. So I'm going to deposit you in the box. Living two, and you're fine there. 
but you don't need to be leveled up. No, actually, you need to be leveled up. You need to be leveled up quite a bit. But I don't have to worry too much about you. Shelder now. Okay, so Shelder. The Shelder is our Cinnabar Island hatch. So let's go to box 18 and let's see what we get for it. Numbers that are not 2 and 4, between 1 and 6 are 3. Okay, number 3. This is Mightius holding a Razor Claw, so let me write down its nickname first and then we'll also take that Razor Claw away from it so we can actually use it because I'm pretty sure this is going to be a Sneasel. And we're going to be needing that to uh, evolve it into a Weavile. So let's do that already. It's going to be level 48 as well, I believe. Let me just double check that. Yep, 48. Okay, so if we go to the bottom item here, move items, and we go to our party Pokemon, we can take the item away from our beautiful, beautiful, what should be a Sneasel. So let's take a look at Mightyus. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? We'll have to wait and see. What's it gonna be? It's a Sneasel! I thought it was a Sneasel! And we know that's not shiny as well, because I hate shiny Sneasel. It looks dis It looks disgusting. It's one of those pink Pokemon, and I uh, one of the things I will tell you about shiny Pokemon, I don't like a lot of shiny Pokemon, and the ones I really don't like is pink shiny Pokemon, because they just look weird. They also look really weird. Green shiny Pokemon look really weird as well. They just look really weird, and I don't like them. I'm not a big fan of shiny Pokemon, to tell you the truth. Like, for example, La Shiny Lantern. I don't like it. I really don't like it. Okay, so Mightyus here. Let's have a look at Mightyus. Mightyus, Jolly Nature, Dark Ice type. Has the ability Inner Focus and has the moves Ice Punch, Fake Outs, Ice Shard, and Crush Claw. Okay. Not a bad Pokemon. I will check your legality off screen at the end of this episode, preferably. I will do that later on. I'm not going to do it right now. I will do it later. And let's put you in Living 2. So I will do all your leveling up later. So we have one more hatch to do today. We have this level 55 hatch that we got from Route 19, which is Fuchsia City. Our last encounter of the day, and we got three Pokemon left. Numbers one, five, and six are our numbers. So hopefully we get one of those numbers. I will keep on randomizing until we get one of those numbers. So it's number six. I don't have to do that actually. So this is Skizzer holding a Dusk Stone, which is kind of weird because if it is a Sizzle or a Skizzer. It should be really holding the item that allows it to evolve into that. Which is... So our final two Pokemon have Japanese names and will be hatched out eventually. Not to, not today, but like soon enough. Because we've got another route coming up. We've got a, another route coming up and hopefully we'll remember to hatch those out too. Duskstone is a part of this uh, Pokemon, so I need to go in there and get it. Also, my throat's really dry right now and I need another drink. That's annoying. Okay, so I'm going to take your Dusk Stone away from you. So what Pokemon evolves by a Dusk Stone that actually would need this? Okay, so this Pokemon is named Skizza. X, I, Z, O, and an R. Okay, and it's uh, going to... I don't actually know what level it's supposed to be. What level is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be level 55, okay. And we'll see about shiny this later. What are you holding? Oh, you're holding a pearl. I'll take that. I just realized that Sheldon was holding an item, so that's pretty cool. I got a free pearl. Okay, so what is Skizzer? It's a... It's a Murkrow. Okay. That's actually hatching these out for us. We wanted to trade Wednesday over this week, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I was still, uh, there was an 1800s night on the, the, the uh, live stream I was watching. It was, uh, uh, these people I watched do themed live, uh, themed wonder trades, and that's pretty cool. 
and I was hatching uh, Mercury's out called Lincoln because uh, you know 1800s Abraham Lincoln was born around then and actually took office around about then uh, during those years too so that's pretty cool anyway so let's have a look at Skizza Scizor okay adamant nature not bad Notice moves, Drill Peck, Sky Attack, Confuse Ray, and Fain Attack. Insomnia for your ability, meaning it can't go to sleep. That's pretty cool. I like that. I really do like that. That's pretty cool. I will level you up later. And uh, you'll be fine, so I will do that off screen. So now I need to go and find uh, our own fridge, because uh, we can continue on now. I thought I could just end this episode here, but we've been going for 25 minutes now. I could just end... You know what? I'm going to talk to Blue, and then we'll end this episode here. And then in the next episode, we'll continue our road down to Pallet Town. How about that? So let's first heal up, because, you know... Healing up is a good thing to do. So let's heal up first, and then we'll go and talk to Blue. Because I know, Blue, I know Blue's on this island somewhere, and I don't think you need Rock Climb to go and talk to him. So let's go and talk to Blue. And my repel wall off. Cool. There he is. Hey, Blue. Who are you? My name is Blue. I was once a Kanto League Champion. No, I was once a Kanto League Champion. Although it was short-lived, thanks, thanks to Joe. Anyway. Hey. Take a good look around you. A volcano erupts and just like that, and a whole town disappears. You can keep on go you can keep on winning and losing in Pokemon, but if nature has so much of a twitch, it over it can overwhelm and in a second that's well that's the way it is, really. But anyway, I'm still a trainer. If if I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to battle me for real, please come to the Viridian Gym. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. So that's what we will do in a couple episodes time. We will go and see Blue and we will go and get our 8th gym badge. Hopefully from him. I'm actually kind of scared about what team he's going to have. Because I really don't know his team. I haven't done my research for Blue yet. So I don't even know if I need to grind yet. So it's going to be weird. But anyway, this is where I'm going to choose to end today's episode. So in today's episode... We went to Cinnabar Island and we got uh, quite a few encounters. We got four encounters. We hatched them out for four eggs. And we've only got like two eggs of our own left before we have to dip into the reserve Pokemon box. And hopefully we'll be doing that in the next couple of episodes as well. So you guys get to see some eggs from uh, Shady Penguin, King Nappy and the One Interval as well. They're not my eggs. They were sent specifically to them. But since, you know, I know a few things about Pokégen, I can just put them into my save files as well. And we can have reserved boxes. So that's pretty cool as well. But I've hatched out all... I've almost hatched out all these Pokémon. So that's pretty cool as well. Make sure to answer today's question of the day. Which, of course, is... If you could design your own gym floor puzzle, what would it be? Let me know in the comments section down below. Also, let me know about my gym floor puzzle ideas, which of course are to have like waterfalls and rapids and tidal wave and uh, you know waves and stuff in the, in the gym. Because that'd be really cool to do in like a water type gym. That'd be really cool. Anyway, if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Josh PH Games, and I am out. See you. Ah. Uh, Again. Yeah.